So today I'm going to show you how we can make a change to our design system in Figma and have those changes visible in our app in three simple steps. Okay, so step one is to make the change in Figma. Um, I have a bunch of colors defined as variables uh, in Figma. Um, and so I'm gonna pick on uh, a color of red here, red 700. You'll notice this is actually the color that's being used over here in my iOS um, app in Xcode. Um, and so I'm gonna make that change and I'm gonna make it blue, like that. Um, you'll also notice I've got a, a border radius here, which I think I'm gonna change to. I've got that defined as a variable, as an integer. And so I'm gonna change that from 30 to 10. Okay, so step two is we need to sync these variables with our design system code base. We can use the enterprise um, Figma variables API to do that. I've got a simple GitHub action, which is gonna take um, that file key and extract those values into GitHub. It's also gonna use a system called style dictionary to convert those tokens to usable code, right? So iOS code, Swift code, um, JavaScript code, CSS, whatever you need. It's actually fully customizable. So what's happened? Um, well, the variables API plus style dictionary has actually generated a bunch of code for us in CSS, iOS, and JavaScript formats. Um, so let's take a peek at the CSS. For example, should we need that? I'm able to see um, all of my primitives, um, but also my semantic layer, which is pointing at the primitives um, in addition to my dimensions right here. Um, step three is we need to synchronize this code base with my local development environment. Um, so I'm just gonna do that right here going to pull that um, and all being well we can see that blue color has now propagated straight into my iOS app and my corner radius has changed so step one make the change in Figma step two synchronize those variables as well as convert them using style dictionary and step three bring them into your local development environment more information on our github